Okay, empaths, welcome back. We are talking about finessing energy and vortexing energy. Okay, um, I want to show you how to do this. I'm actually going to take a little bit more time in the tips that come next week. But for those of you that feel like you might need to do this now, I want to show you some ways to do this. So your heart space, your intentions, your pure heart, you know, structure, all the beautiful work you have done causes you to now be in the position as an activated empath. You are now going into the journey of the heart. You're living from the heart. You're moving from the heart. You're understanding that your nature is love and you're learning to embody all of who you are. Okay. In beautiful, profound ways. So you are an alchemist and as an alchemist, you can go into chaotic situations if you're called to it. I don't recommend that you go into chaos if you're not called, but if you're called to it and you have the command codes and you understand your mission assignment, then you're fully capable of handling that assignment. Um, also, if energy comes into your field that is undesirable, um, you're not you're not interested in that, or um, you know it's not helpful, it's it's uncomfortable, or it's intrusive, or invasive, or whatever it is. Then you can vortex the energy as well. So I'm going to go into more details in our next um, empath encouragement tips. But for now, if you need to vortex any energy, you're going to just breathe. So you'll just take a nice deep breath. Dropping from head into heart space. Okay. Um, just allowing your right and left brain hemispheres to relax, allowing the nervous system to calm, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Just, and it doesn't have to take a long time. I'm, I'm, um, it, you know, making it a little bit longer so that you just understand you can clear energy very quickly. Just drop from head into heart space. Now that you're in this space, you can intend to shift what no longer serves and what is not helpful. So let's say that it's energy within yourself. Okay. I'm going to start with learning how to vortex the energy that's within your own field. I'd like you to imagine breathing into your root chakra and you can look up chakras if you're not familiar with them, breathe down into the root chakra. So you're going to breathe in. So you just imagine taking air into your root chakra. You're gonna deepen that inhale at the heart chakra. Okay, so we inhale into the root, deepen at the heart. And then on the exhale, imagine the breath going out of the crown chakra. Okay, so let's just do that again. Inhaling in through the root. Deepen the inhale at the heart. Exhale out of the crown. And as you exhale out of the crown, imagine the energy going out and around you. So you take energy in or breath in through the root. We deepen that breath at the heart and we allow it to come out of the crown. <clears throat> when the breath is on the exhale coming out of the crown, that's when we begin to shift. Okay. So we begin to shift and you don't have to do this. I'm going to go into it more when we actually meet next week. I'm going to talk about the different visuals because visual imagery can help with this. You notice I'm moving my hands, right? You don't have to do this. What am I doing? Moving the energy. Just moving that energy, anything that I don't want. Notice how gently I'm doing it, right? I'm not swatting the energy, although I could, I guess. <laughs> you could do whatever you want, but I'm just moving it. You're an alchemist. I'm just moving it. Okay, so let's try that again. In through the root chakra, deep and at the heart. Exhale out of the crown and begin to swirl that energy. Swirl it. 
move it, shift it. Now you're in your own energy. You might want to close your eyes if it's helpful. Be in your own energy and notice, notice the power that you have over your own energy. Now I'm swirling my hands this way, right? Some people play with energy by making it like a ball. They make it a little ball. They feel the energy of that ball. And then they begin to make the ball bigger. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. Okay, but right now we're talking about vortexing. So I want you to just imagine shifting. Okay, this is very simple. I'm going to get into it a little bit more again, like I said, next week. But I want you to now let's focus on the sacral. Let's inhale in through sacral, which is above root and below the navel, deepen at the heart space. Exhale out of the crown. And now not only are we shifting and vortexing and circling the energy, but now you can even move it out of your field, okay? So vortexing the energy, we're mixing it, we're swirling it, we're bringing our energy. We're talking about you right now, but if you were going into a situation or working with a particular person or a particular community, you could go in and vortex the, the energy of that situation or the person that you're working with. But right now we're just working with you, cleansing, keeping your, um, your being clear and filtered, right? We need to filter out sometimes some of the heavy, dense, um, maybe toxic or chaotic energies that come in from the different assignments that we have or the different energies that we take in as empaths. So inhaling in through sacral, deepening at the heart, exhaling out of crown and swirl and shift, breathe and exhale, let it go, remove it from your field. So inhaling in through sacral, deepening at the heart, exhaling out of crown, swirling, swirling, bringing your energy into the chaotic situation, finessing the energy, you are the alchemist, knowing who you are, knowing you are divinely supported, bringing in divinity into a chaotic situation, shifting a paradigm just by being present, just by knowing who you are with an attitude of expectation, optimism, bliss, gratitude, knowing you are that alchemist, knowing you are that alchemist, knowing you are that alchemist and in that knowing in that knowing anchoring and grounding in that knowing you can shift but no longer serves okay so this is just a little preliminary demonstration. I'm going to get into it a lot more in next week's tips. Um, and we're going to talk about transmutation of energy and shifting and recoding. And th this is visual, right? I'm, it's demonstrative. My hands are moving. You certainly don't have to do that. As powerful empaths, you can just show up on the scene and say, activate new energy, energy transmute now, recode, shift. Y you can do that. You don't even have to do any of what I'm doing. I do this because I'm, it's me, that's what I do, you know, and that's what works for me. That's the way I work with spirit. We're all different. For some of you, you're going to journal and write, and then you're just going to say, new energy, activate now. <laughs> and the energy will shift because you're very powerful. And what makes us powerful? Why are we so incredibly powerful? Why is it that when we pray or we call in the divine um, what we ask for is given. Why do we see shift very quickly? Because our heart is pure, because our intentions are true, because we always are looking for what serves the highest light and serves the highest good of all. We have arrested the unhealthy ego and we are working with our ego in very positive, healthy ways. We're embodying our light and our shadow in beautiful ways. 
and we are in service of the divine, to the divine. And so therefore the channel is, is clear. And because the channel is clear, we can shift energy. We can, you know, really embody our full power magic, if you will, and see shifts happen. So imagine, you know, right now I'm just talking about vortexing your own energy, right? Keeping your own energy clear with breath and shift and movement, right? All of this is good movement, dancing, hydrating, all of these things are good for clearing your energy field. But imagine when many empaths that are intentional embodying pure heart structure are projecting their clear channel towards the world. Imagine how quickly we can transform chaos creatively into something beautiful that serves the highest light. So that's just a sample taste. I am wishing you all um, a great rest of your day. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you again. Blessings.